Hello, my name is Esther Muñoz and I am going to present my poster Identifying Microrna Biomarkers in Multiple Sclerosis Exhibiting a Sex-Related Differential Pattern. Multiple sclerosis is a disease which affects central nervous system. It can also present very different symptoms such as fatigue, spasms or loss of vision. Additionally, different subtypes can be identified depending on the disease's progression, the episode's frequency, and the degree of recovery after every episode. A relevant trait of multiple sclerosis is that it presents differences between male and female patients. Some examples of these are that women are more likely to develop the disease and men present a faster and more severe progression. So, the main objective of, th of this study is the identification of gene expression regulation differences between male and female patients through the study of microRNAs in order to find new biomarkers. To achieve this main objective, three specific objectives were set. The specific objectives included a systematic review, an individual analysis, and a meta-analysis. The methods include a systematic review and selection of studies in the databases GEO and RI Express. Next, the data was downloaded to process it and to perform an exploratory analysis. The next step was a differential expression analysis and finally a functional characterization. Regarding the results, the systematic review showed that only 4 of the 444 datasets were fit to be used in the study. Next, the individual analysis was performed through GO2R, which provided for every dataset the upregulated and downregulated microRNAs in sick males and also the upregulated and downregulated microRNAs in sick females. The following meta-analysis was, ba was based in the intersections. The first intersection was between datasets, aiming to find the common microRNAs with the same expression pattern in different datasets. The second intersection was between the different expression patterns and sexes, this time combining the information provided by every dataset. The results are presented in Figure 1. The second intersection revealed that 8 plus 19 microRNAs, marked in blue, express the same pattern in both sexes, so they are disease markers. On the other hand, 2 plus 2 microRNAs, marked in red, presented an opposite profile in both sexes, so they are sex-dependent markers. Some of these microRNAs are presented in Table 1, along with biological functions related to the expression pattern. The upregulated microRNAs in both sexes are related to transcription factor union and to FC epsilon receptor signaling. The downregulated microRNAs in both sexes are related to TRK neurotrophin signaling and protein modification. MicroRNAs upregulated in men and downregulated in females are related to glycosaminoglycans via synthesis. And microRNAs downregulated in males and upregulated in females are related to nitrogenous compound metabolism and ion bonding. Finally, the conclusions say that sex information should be included more often at biomedical experimental designs in order to get a deeper knowledge about relevant molecular differences between sexes. Also, meta-analysis meta strategies allow the integration of the information from different microRNA datasets, providing a global characterization of the regulatory function. And the identification of differentially expressed microRNAs between male and female patients points out the need of a better understanding about molecular mechanisms underlying clinical sex-related differences aiming for the development of personalized medicine.